What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. Today is going to be our very first installment of Tackle Tip Tuesday. Um, it's going to be a new video series that I try to do every week. We're going to try to bring you something tackle related every Tuesday, tips, something that is going to be able to help you out when you're out on the lakes fishing. Um, these aren't going to be super long videos. They're going to be a little bit on the shorter side and we're going to try and post these every Tuesday. And we're also going to do our additional videos if we can once a week. Um, as everybody knows, it's getting to be summertime. Uh, it, it's a really busy season right now. The lakes are really be busy. Um, I'm a professional photographer, and this is a real busy season for me. So I don't always need to go out on the lake as much as I would like to. So we're going to try to do a little of these uh, tackle tip videos for you, see if we can't fill in a little bit for you guys, and still be able to really you know, stay in contact with you guys and keep up doing with the videos once a week. Alright guys, so I've switched you over to my chest piece and I'm going to be able to show you now how I do my organization for my tackle trays. Alright, as you can see, I am a lure lock angler. I do love my lure locks. Um, they, they work phenomenally for everything that I enjoy to do. But as you can see, what I do special with these is I actually come through with color-coded tabs and I write on them what is what. So anything that has an orange tag is a treble hook bait besides top waters so these are all crank baits of different kinds here these are my jerk baits you can tell which one i prefer more um, green over here these are my jigs these are my finesse jigs with hair jigs and swim jigs then i have my signature series of jigs and then i have my vibrating jigs so those are kind of all together there then we have the pink ones here pink is for top water um, you know, I have all kinds of different uh, topwater baits I try to keep organized. We've got my wake baits, my whopper ploppers, my frogs, and my topwater walking baits. Um, those are just easily accessible for me. I don't go anywhere without those. And then we come over here and we have our yellow stickers. This is going to be any kind of terminal tackle. Uh, we're talking uh, lead, uh, tungsten, hooks, treble, swivel, split ring, snaps, swim bait heads um, i have an actual finesse tackle uh, tray just for finesse tackle stuff i have the terminal tackle here that i really need to rename and i just haven't had time for that's mostly on my flipping stuff bigger hooks bigger weights uh, bobber stoppers uh, you know just stuff like that and then all the way in the back there i have two extra boxes that are swim baits and glide baits i just used green because i honestly i just like green um so that's uh, the beginning of how I keep my boat organized, how I know where everything is, when I need it, how I need it at all times. The second part to that, you can actually see here, is my Titan Tackle System by TH Marine. Um, it is the magnetic system that you're able to put your baits up there. Um, as you can see, um, my, I got some few spinner baits up here. I got some crank baits just stuff that I use on a regular that I would need to change out and be able to go to something different quickly. I don't have to get in there and start digging around for anything. I know where it is. All right, guys, so there we have it for our very first Tackle Tip Tuesday. I hope that kind of gives you guys a little bit of an insight as to how I store my tackle trays. Um, you know, I, I use lure lock, but everybody has their, the same size. Those are the large boxes. I'm not even really sure what they're called anymore from through other brands, but it's the largest size they make. Um, you know, organization is key when you're on the water, especially during tournaments, so that you're able to see exactly what's there. You're able to get to it quickly and know exactly what you need to get. You know, that that's a big deal when you're on the water. If you're out there and you, you know, you bust off a crankbait lip <laughs> for anybody that saw my Instagram post, uh, you know, you, you break off a crankbait lip, you need to know where those crankbaits are fast to be able to get to it again, especially if you're on schooling fish and they're fired up. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, leave me a like, leave me a comment, hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys really look forward to these Tackle Tip Tuesdays. I'm going to enjoy filming them. I'll see you guys out on the water. Take care, y'all.